It's time. Round one of the 2024 F1 Championship takes us to the Bahrain International Circuit. It's almost lights out. The Bahrain track is 5.412 kilometers in distance, and the race takes place over 57 laps. Last year's winner was Max Verstappen, no surprise there. 11 seconds ahead of his teammate Sergio Perez, who was a further 26 seconds ahead of the charging Fernando Alonso. We'll all be hoping for a closer race this year, but will we get it? There are 15 official corners, but some of them are more like kinks. It's a tricky circuit with mostly slow and medium speed corners, meaning it's more of a rear limited circuit. It's also never been resurfaced, so the circuit itself is one of the more abrasive asphalts on the calendar. That means those cars with good traction should do well around here. The tyres available this year are the C1, C2 and C3 tyres, which is the hardest tyres available to Pirelli after the C0 tyre from last year is seemingly not an option this year. Not sure what's happened to that. Just for reference, the medium tyre that was used so frequently during the recent pre-season testing is the soft tyre this weekend, so teams should have a really good idea of performance and tyre degradation. So what are we expecting to see at Bahrain this weekend and what should we look out for? Well, I think it's very likely we're going to see a runaway Red Bull at the front of the grid and I dare say it'll be Max Verstappen. Of course, I hope that isn't the case and I hope we get some interesting fights, maybe some good strategy between Red Bull, Ferrari, maybe Mercedes, McLaren, Aston will be there or thereabouts, but I don't see any other result than a Red Bull win unless Red Bull have some sort of disaster. I do think Perez is under pressure early on though. He had a really rough time of it last year with a lot of issues. And this year coming up, a lot of drivers are gonna be out of contract. And there's gonna be a big driver shakeup thanks to the Lewis Hamilton to Ferrari bombshell that was dropped. Perez could be at risk if his performances go the same way as they did last year and if they don't match up with Red Bull's expectations. And their expectations aren't race wins. That's not what they want. They've got Max for that. They just want him to be doing better, be closer to Max, and getting those constructors points. Perez went through a really tough time last year. He was missing out on Q3 a lot, and he was having to work his way through the field, sometimes to good effect, other times not so much. He needs to start the season strongly as he means to go on. It's behind them really where the real interest lies. Ferrari, McLaren, Aston Martin and Mercedes. We've all kind of guessed where we think they stack up based on qualifying and race pace, but we don't really know. Do you remember last year though, Alonso, the pass on Hamilton down into turn 10. Don't see cars overtaking there very often. A touch of class, you might say. We really don't know where these teams stack up. We think we've got a guess. Ferrari seems strong, Aston Martin seems strong, but until Q3, it's still guesswork. Alpine and Haas are likely to be at the back of the field, or they're going to be expecting to be at the back of the field, and there is a real possibility that Alpine could be the slowest team on the grid. They're going to hope not, but that would be an embarrassment for the works team if they did end up being at the back. A few things to bear in mind. Once again, the race is on a Saturday this week, not a Sunday. That means qualifying is on Friday. It's the same for Saudi Arabia next weekend, and I'm gonna keep saying it so that people get the message just in case. It's due to Ramadan. There is also some changes to DRS. The overtake system will now be available after one lap and not two. This means at the start of a race and at a restart. That is gonna make it far more difficult for drivers out in front or even in the midfield to bridge that gap for DRS is available. Quite a big change for 2024. And there we have it. I'm really excited for the 2024 season, if not a little bit concerned that Red Bull are gonna be out ahead. We really don't know though, until Q3 on Friday, we'll finally get an idea of where everyone stacks up. But even then, we believe some cars are struggling for qualifying pace, but are much better on race pace. So this could be an interesting race. I hope it's competitive. We'll have to wait and see. I hope you'll join me for all the free practice sessions and qualifying, and of course the race live streamed on this channel, a watch along of course. I'll see you then.